New polling shows an overwhelming majority of Americans believe President Biden is too old for a second term. National correspondent Kayla Gaskins joins us from Capitol Hill with more on how Republicans are capitalizing on that. House Republicans reportedly hatching a plan to ensure Americans don't soon forget President Biden's slew of forgetful moments. There's been a response from the, uh, the, the, there's been a response. The strategy appearing to be an action Wednesday, with House Speaker Mike Johnson hammering the point Biden was not charged in the classified documents case in part because he would likely be presented to a jury as a sympathetic, well-meaning elderly man with a poor memory. A man too incapable of being held accountable for mishandling classified information is certainly unfit for the Oval Office. And everyone in this room, if you just ask yourself that question, you will come to the same conclusion. GOP-led hearings on Biden's mental fitness, including subpoenas, are in the works, according to reporting by Axios. Many top Democrats coming to his defense. I spent a lot of time with President Biden, be it in the Oval Office, in the Situation Room. He is extraordinarily smart. Did anyone film that? <laughs> If you're telling us behind the scenes he is sharp and full of energy and on top of it and really in control and leading, you should film that. <laughs> the Biden campaign going on the offensive with attack ads on Trump's age and his moments of appearing confused. He got confused and said he was running against Obama. And we did with Obama. We won an election that everyone said couldn't be won. Despite efforts by the left to flip the script, a new ABC Ipsos poll shows 86% of Americans think President Biden is too old for another term, compared with 62% who think Donald Trump is too old. The House GOP and the Justice Department are coordinating a time for special counsel Robert Hur to come testify publicly about his investigation into the president. That could happen as soon as late February or early March. On Capitol Hill, I'm Kayla Gaskins.